What's up guys and gals? How you doing? What's your name? What's the name of your channel for those who don't know? Uh, my name is Stanley Dirt Monkey Genetic and <laughs> My name is Stanley Dirt Monkey Genetic and I am on the Dirt Monkey University channel. Sir, you don't want to be on the YouTubes? <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> this motherfucker's dehydrated. We're just getting off lunch break. Huh? Say hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? He doesn't want to be in the camera. <laughs> this motherfucker's dehydrated. I told him, I said, uh, dude literally just threw up in the garden beds. I'm like, dude, sit down for 20 minutes. Drink some water. Working with chef to death. Jesus. Now, we're on this job here. Look at this big catastrophe mess. We're stripping out all the garden beds, removing, cutting, trimming the whole property, removing all contents of garden beds, fixing all the black diamond edging and trimming it all, elevating back to the property, grading it all down once it's all spotless and clean. See, he's digging it all right here. Then what we're gonna do, like a bouse, like a bouse, <laughs> we're gonna put all brand new weed barrier fabric and pins down the whole property hundreds of square feet. What's up, sir? What's up? See how we're grading all this out? Are these are these flying bees or flying ants? I don't know, man, but they're uh, having a party. And here, once this is all out, we can put all the fabric. Then, we're putting four tons of gray slate stone. It might be five tons, but I, I measured out four. Whenever we do stone, usually it turns out spot on because you can adjust as you go thick and thin. But the catchy point is up underneath all this. We're gutting out all underneath these garden beds and underneath all these arborvitaes. So this is the job I told you about that was uh, 7,600. I hate whenever I, t I tell the price of a job, guys always come in the comments, Shepney, who's the coder? I would have charged 13000 Your prices are too low. I took, took all of the overhead and I doubled it. This is Keith. In this video, I want to talk about how that's really right. Running a business is, <laughs> well, suck up all your free time and suck the life out of you and you will work like you've never worked before in your life you think you work hard start your own damn business um when other people drop the ball who picks up the pieces you when a client doesn't pay or a customer doesn't pay who's got to pay for it you when oh kit quit bitching <laughs> Quick wife for trying to get home. Let's prank her. I'm gonna lay down on the ground. Here she comes. I'm gonna put my head up here so it looks more extreme. Here she comes. Today I want to talk about minimums. What is your minimum price for you to come out and do any service? Uh, if you're doing lawn care and stuff like that and you're building a route, that, that's fine, that's different. But when it comes to doing landscape projects where you have overhead costs and materials costs, uh, knowing what your minimum is is extremely important. We're doing photos for the Facebook so the customers can see. 
pretend like you're squeegeeing, then I'll keep taking the pictures. It'll be amazing. I can't just pretend you can see that I'm not squeegeeing anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why the Unger Fixie clamp is amazing. It's way up there. Mm -hmm. So see, yeah, I scrub it, squeegee it, and now the Unger Fixie clamp is up there. You get the corners to detail it, see how I'm doing? No legs. And that's, dude, that's like, was that like 18 feet up in this customer's house? I do have permission to film in this customer's house, I don't care. But, look at that. This ain't sweet. Hey. Excited, I forgot to show the opa. The opa is now already gone. The bread is good. We got eggplant parmesan. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. What is that? That's rice with red sauce. Rice with red sauce. Dow, dow, shit, dow, shit. <laughs> it's like up your alley, honey, and they're great here.